So over the last five years, we've installed 500 vending machines, and we went there with the objective of uh, basically uh, driving consumption down. So they had about a $36 million a year MRO spend, and when we were done, or at basically today, they're spending about $24 million, and they've increased their production by about 15 to 18%. So they've seen a pretty significant consumption reduction. But what we didn't know was that we reduced the labor that it required to build the airplanes and the gas turbines. They're basically a, a repair depot, so they repair uh, all of the Air Force's air, uh, airplanes, basically. And they are now building a lot of engines or rebuilding a lot of engines for other branches of the service. So they saw over $150 million in labor savings over that five-year period, or roughly $30 million a year in labor savings. So where does that come from? How do you, how do, you do that with vending systems? Well, one of the big things, they had, they had about 50 different tool cribs around the facility, and they figured that it was 30 to 45 minutes to walk from a workstation to the tool crib, get the product, and walk back. And many times, the guy that needed the product was five or six st uh, stories up on scaffolding working on the tail of a KC-130 or something like that. So it could be an hour by the time he, he got back. So that is one of the places. But we've now reduced that 56 cribs down to 11 cribs. So when you look at the whole thing, we've taken about 300 uh, FTEs out of the plan. And that's where we get the, the savings.